Hey, little dude. So, you know, I want to talk to you about some things. Um, you know, I got word that, that, you know, you have some decisions to make uh, with your life. And I just want to remind you of some things um, you might already be aware of, little dude. And, you know, put some things in perspective for you, okay? You know, I'll start here. We all have gifts, okay? And the world may, uh, you know, their, their motivation for using their gifts may be fame, money, you know, those worldly things. So, you know, I want to talk to you about your gifts, and, and you know what those are. So... When we talk about your gifts, uh, again, you know what those are. I, I have a few ideas what they may be. But now that you have uh, quite a bit of education behind you in specific fields, you know, you've acquired that knowledge and, and then you can couple that with your gifts that God gave you. Now, what are you going to do with those? What are you going to do with those? And, you know, one could be very gifted in business and his knowledge of business could grow the church, okay? Or his knowledge of business could work for bad, for evil, and he may not even know it. So... I want you to ask yourself, you know, what is what is a man's purpose? What what should he be doing with his life? You know, if you ask me, it's it's serving other people. It's serving other people, making making this world a better place. So as you make these decisions in your life coming up of where you might work, what field you might work in. You know, listen to your heart. That's God's voice. You know, God is omnipresent, meaning He's everywhere. But where He is, where He is for us, is right here. And so, that's the voice that I want you to wrestle with, and I want you to talk with, and don't listen to outside people. Even the ones close to you that love you, okay? And I know you like Uncle Ryan, you love me, but you're wanting me to listen to you right now. No, I want you to listen to that voice of God that's inside you, okay? You have a dream, I'm sure you do, or a vision, okay? It wasn't by accident. It was put in there by God. Okay, so as you make these decisions, you know, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, okay? I'm not tell, telling you what field you should go in, too. But I want you to do something that you have a passion for, all right? I just heard this recently. PhD, we all know what that stands for, okay? Well, maybe I don't. But I heard someone say, passion hope and drive. So that makes a lot of sense, you know. I also heard before that, you know, and you have a leg up on people. You have an advantage. You have an education now. And so... Now that that's almost said and done, it is said and done, or maybe you're going to go on to further your, your education. Um, now you have a choice. You've taken care of the books, but you have a choice now. You have a choice. You can go after your passion in life, 
or you can follow the world. What are your gifts? What are your gifts? You know, and how do you want to use them? Um, nothing can stop you, Geechee. Nothing can stop you except you and listening to the naysayers that say they that won't work. You know, you get in, you get out what you put in. And, and if you have a dream, man, go after it. If you want to work in the corporate world and, and maybe do something that you don't quite agree with, with what sits right with you in your heart, I suggest you don't do it. Okay, uh, you know, I, I know my gifts and uh, and it's this and it's helping people and talking to people and sharing my experience. So, you know, when you're making those decisions again, please weigh those things out. Do you have a dream about a business that may help people? Do you have a dream about a business that will make a lot of money? But what are you going to do with all that money? Are you going to help people? You know, I really think one of your gifts is is, is delivering a strong, uh, detailed, um, educated message, whatever it may be. You have that gift. So... Uh, you know, you have that gift to put words together well. And so you should use it, but you should use it in a godly way. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, when you're 70, 80 years old, you're going to feel good about that. You're going to feel really good about that. And you're going to leave an imprint on your fellow man. I'm freezing. I'm in the garage. But... You know, that's really all I have to say about it. Uh, I want you to take those things into consideration, you know. And uh, and I hope you do. I really hope you do. You know, you have, you have the world in front of you, man. You have the world in front of you. You have an education. You have, you have a clean background. You have uh, maybe credit that's not quite established yet, but you haven't ruined that. And, and you have the gift to go in to a place and get alone um, with your words. And, and as long as they're honest and truthful, then God will let it prosper. And, you know, I don't want you to take a job over another job that pays more. Because money, money as you know, doesn't, doesn't equal happiness. And it's not going to make you happy. $20,000 more over here is not going to make you happier than this job over here that lights a fire in you and it and it's tied right in with your passions in life and and it may be a stepping stone for you to achieve your dream that you have whatever that may be so this is Uncle Ryan talking to nephew and uh I just want you to look at those things and make the right decision for you. No one else. All right? I love you, dude. Hmm.